and we're back um not saying i got a whole lot to do today um enough to you know uh for us to talk about anyway uh keep us busy for at least a half an hour or more uh like i said uh i've actually got lots of stuff lately probably gonna actually gonna be doing three unboxing videos and two video demonstrations so uh, one I'm going to actually show the unboxing for, which I got in today, uh, about or around it was about 2 p.m. I, I got lucky, uh, FedEx uh, brought it by early, uh, so I did a quick unboxing video, and uh, I'm going to show it today, and we're going to, uh, upcoming weeks, we're going to do actually a demonstration video on that as well, and the other stuff I hadn't got in, so it'll probably be, uh, once it does, I think if they come in tomorrow, I'll, I'll start working on doing those unboxing videos. Here's the way I do it is I'll try to show the unboxing video during the show first uh, And then I'll put it on YouTube, uh, you know if I put it on YouTube people might cheat and watch the YouTube channel and then uh, You know they already see it on the show so Now um, actually there's uh, of course the uh, the guy in the uh, the chat room, which is uh, Brad 2007 he actually gave me uh, uh, The uh, I think it's like the uh, the representative from uh, Boxy, and uh, he recently did a interview of him on his show uh, Tech Webcast. Um, you know, I didn't know what I didn't know what how how I do it. Uh, I did contact him. Um, I don't initially. I, I was thinking perhaps I wouldn't do him for an interview since Brad already did so, but I was thinking. Uh, maybe doing a review on their boxy box so um i kind of contacted which is andrew kippen kippen uh from boxy and uh you know i i told him that you know brad brad sent me um so um you know i contacted him i was interested in the, the boxy box review uh now they're not the ones that come up with the boxy box it's actually the company d-link which makes routers and uh, I, I guess other things and so he's going to send a, uh, he carbon copied it to the people over at uh, uh, BoxyBox. Now, I think it was their PR that sets up their PR. I forgot what company it is. So I don't know. Hopefully in the future, um, they're going to send me a review unit. And then, you know, I'll be able to, uh, you know, see all the neat f features off the BoxyBox. Actually, I kind of looked at it recently, you know, before I send the email and uh they got a kind of a unique controller. Not only does it control the screen, uh, you flip it around the controller, and it's actually a keyboard built in into it on the other side, which I thought was kind of cool. But I don't know. Maybe I'll look out. They're, they'll send me something, and then I'll uh, you know do a complete review and then uh, demonstration on that uh, if I get lucky enough. But eh, well, we'll see. Here, yeah, I'm going to be unboxing three juices. There we go. My snack pack. I'll, I'll unbox my snack packs. How's that? Are you doing there, Smoothie XL? Now, now lately I've been doing a lot of, you know, computer repair. Just people been bringing their stuff. I don't know. It kind of happens by word of mouth. Um, uh, occasionally I get my uh, stepson. You know, his computer. Uh, that's the one that I gave him. And sometimes I, I got to work on it, and um, I, I recently upgraded my. Uh, I sometimes I use diagnostic software to test the RAM and other other things, or a lot of times I use it to pull up system information because it's got like uh, a lot of pages. Now initially I was using uh, Microscope, which is is a, a different company, uh, Micro Two Thousand, which is you know it was good, it, it still is, but. Unfortunately, it's about seven or eight years old, and I mean, you can still use it for, um, uh, I think, up to perhaps a Pentium 4, maybe. I don't know if it's Pentium 3, um, but I, a lot of the stuff I do, I need uh, some new ones for, up, you know, uh, more recent computers because um, this, actually, this other version, it doesn't do multi-cores, um, it doesn't do SSD drives, and uh, this would this you know other diagnostic software company does i think actually it turns out it's cheaper i think and they seem to keep up a lot more better with recent technology so i went ahead and ordered it and 
it actually came in today and I did a quick unboxing video and uh, I'll go ahead and show you that right now and uh, hopefully everything is good um, we're going to be doing an unboxing of the uh, Quick Tech Pro by uh, Ultra X which is uh, computer diagnostics and um, let's see, I got my knife here and uh, actually just just came in today right before the show so it will give me a chance to do this quick unboxing because I want to you know uh, obviously test it out and probably um, the official you know I'll do a testing phase and then show you you know make another separate video to you know show all the features of the uh, the software and stuff like that um, I've got other stuff planned so I gotta see when I'll have time to do that uh, other video so um, I'm just making this real quick just to show during the show today so it's funny because I jumped online and I f usually the, they don't come until much later in the day and it looks like everything's self-contained in this uh, I didn't expect the box going to be kind of big uh, but I know it's got uh, several different ones so thank you for your business I guess it's their business card and actually uh, it's just that one thing in the box and uh, wow I got this uh, sealed as well and actually I think right before they sent it they actually download the most recent one it comes down a USB stick so they actually download the most recent version and then I guess they uh, go ahead and seal it up in plastic hopefully I'm not going to puncture uh, uh, I guess it's like a child safety uh, wrap I guess There's a firmware license agreement. Uh, of course, you're not supposed to make copies to give to everybody. Of course, I guess this is the very. Well, it's kind of got that newish smell, I guess, as well. But... And we're going to go ahead and open it up. And I'm not sure what is in all this. I guess this is. Uh, Part of the case right here. Let's see, I'm not sure. I guess they give you a pen in here. An Ultra X pen. Uh, let's see. Let me go ahead and open this uh, part up right here. I guess it's the welcome kit. And uh, I guess it's got some of their other products as well. Um, they actually got some hardware diagnostic cards and. Uh, RAM testing cards and things like that and I think some other software and uh, okay here's a CD-ROM I guess it's the uh, resource support CD support media kinda like the user's guide I guess and it also comes with two, two different kind of test media I guess one's for the uh, here's one for the DVD-ROM drive and then uh, for the CD-ROM drive. Uh, use that uh, with the, um, the diagnostic software I guess to test your DVD and CD-ROM drives. Um, it's probably got some kind of uh, uh, test media on here and it reads it off the CD-ROM and that will tell you if uh, I guess your CD DVD is working correctly. And I guess you got some other things in here. Okay I guess it's um, the user's manual as well. Uh, I guess a little bit about how to use the software and things like that. Uh, and I'm kind of wondering what's in these little pouches. And uh, let me see a bunch of cores it looks like. Okay, I think this is all it is is really uh, a plug. This you know a little mini stereo plug. It's really used for sound card loopback. So, 
one actually goes in the headphones and then one goes in the mic and then it actually sends a signal and then the uh, software reads the signal to make sure that's working correctly. And the uh, same thing I guess uh, with the loopback plugs. And uh, this is a 25 pin, this is for the older ones, the parallel port and serial port, 25 pin uh, for your loopback test and it sends the, the signal out uh, through these pins and then it loops back to the other side and then you know it reads make sure that's working correctly externally. Um, it also does internal tests as well. Um, I guess this is a USB extension. Um, it makes it a little bit easier hooking the uh, USB um, software up. And this is the serial loopback plug. Same thing that's with the uh, parallel and the 25 pin. This of course this is the uh, uh, the 9 pin uh, for the older type computers. And I guess that's empty. And I guess this is the actual uh, software itself. Um, it used to come on a CD-ROM drive. Um, but they said, I think when I called them, they said uh, that supposedly it was better to do it off of a USB, I guess a USB um, bus because uh, you wouldn't have to worry about drivers or something like that. I'm not sure exactly why. Um, I am going to call support and have them send me the CD version for computers that don't boot up. Um, using a USB disk uh, and then you can use a CD-ROM. I think it uses an older version but it still be uh, it should still be up to date for that uh, older computer um, but uh, and I can't really get it open. Uh, I'll make it a little bit hard I guess. I don't know if it's locked in place. Okay, I'll mess with it later. Uh, probably wait in the next couple of uh, weeks and then I'll do um, I won't be able to do a screenshot because obviously if I'm booting the computer up uh, to the diagnostic software I can't do a screencast at the same time so I'll probably have to use a, a camcorder and uh, kind of do it that way so uh, just uh, wait in a couple more weeks oops I had the uh... okay there we go um, actually, when I opened up the package, it really was strong. I was like, damn, this stinks. Um, um, I, I, I'm not sure. You can just put down, uh, you know, on Google, do Quick Tech Pro, and it should link to the page. Now, it costs about, um, just for the Quick Tech Pro, is about 200 I think they had the uh, another version. Uh, I forget what it is. It's called uh, Extreme. I can't remember. No, uh, it was another... I think it gives you more functions, but, um, well, they also got something that's called the, you know, I can't think of it, uh, legacy, legacy one, but I think you can only get it on floppies. And, uh, uh another th nice thing about it is they're going to send me, uh, it's good for, uh, I get free updates and or versions uh, for the next two years. So it, let's say, you know, uh, I'll probably check it out in about a year. And then if they have a brand new version, uh, now I think I got to send the USB disk in and they automatically flash it with the newest version.